Hey there, and welcome to Ontario Math, and today we will be trying to work on elapsed time. Uh, well, why do we need to know how to do this? Well, sometimes we have to figure out how long an event took, or how much time it took in between events, um, and find out, you know, how long was it, or if it started at this time and ended at this time, how long did the person play for, or watch a movie for, or something, right? Um, so I'm going to teach you how to do it step by step, and I'll start actually with the problem and I'll read the steps as we go along. So let's just get into the problem first. So um, if Alex started to play basketball at 7.05 and finished at 8.19, how long did he play for? So step one is, well, after putting the greater time up top, subtract the two times. So I need to find the greater time, which is the end time at 8.19 right here. So I will write it neatly and give myself a bit of space to subtract nicely. And I'm going to subtract the uh, start time, so 7.05, and put that smaller time at the bottom. Okay, And then I'm going to subtract by making sure I'm lining everything up, and I line it up based upon the colon, right? So I make sure that these are right on top of each other. Step two, I would normally subtract. Subtract as I normally would subtract regular numbers. So 9 subtract 5 is 4. 1 subtract is 0 is 1. And 8 subtract 7 is 1. So there we go. Uh, he played for an hour and 14 minutes. <laughs> easy, right? Uh, well, too bad not everything could be that easy because sometimes you actually need to borrow if you've done subtraction before. And if the, uh, if the smaller number is up top, then you actually have to borrow from the next uh, unit over, right? So the only tricky part is this. Uh, watch out. If you ever need to borrow from the next unit of time, you only borrow 6 instead of 10. And this is because you're borrowing 60 seconds from a minute, because there's 60 seconds in a minute, or 60 minutes from the hour. So for example, um, if I needed to borrow, okay, one, say, even though I don't need to do this, right, but say um, this was actually a, a 9, okay, and I go 1 subtract 9, no, you can't do. If I need to borrow across from the hours, so I'm always talking about this section right here, right, with the colon in between. So I'm in the seconds right here, and I need to borrow from the hours right here. If I ever need to borrow from the hours, okay, across the colon from the hours, normally I would put a 1 here, right, to make it 11. And if you normally subtract, right, you borrow 1 from 8, and it makes, or a group of 10 from 8, and it makes 11. In this case, though, I can't borrow a group of 10, because if I'm borrowing the amount of minutes from an hour, I'm actually borrowing 60, right? There's 60 minutes from the hour. So I would borrow 60 minutes from the hour. So take a look. I'm borrowing 60, and I already have a group of 10 here. So 6 plus 1 is actually equal to 7. So I actually have to switch that to 7. I know it's kind of tricky to kind of get along, to get your head around, but you actually borrow a group of 6 and add it on to any amount that you have already there instead of 10. So let's give it a shot. Ab and Abby and Senj went to see a movie that started at 8.11.29, 29, so I'm adding seconds here, and the movie finished at 10.15 and 20 seconds. How much time was spent in the theater? And that's a really precise time. So step one, I'm going to put the greater time up top, 10, 15, 20, and subtract the less time, the start time, 8, 11, 29, and I'm going to subtract it. So 0 subtract 9, I can't do. So I'm going to borrow from this, this goes to a 1, and I borrow a group of 10 because I'm not going across to the next unit. I'm still borrowing in the seconds, so that's okay. 10 subtract 9 is 1. 1 subtract 2 I can't do. I now have to borrow across to the hours. I'm going across the colon. So this goes to 4, but here I'm going to add a group of 6, right? 60 seconds. Again, I already have 1 here, and I have 60 or 6 coming along. So 1 already there and 6 equals 7. Now I do 7 subtract 2 is 5, colon. 4 subtract 1 is 3. 1 subtract 1 is 0, and 10 subtract 8 is 2. So how much time was that spent in the theater? 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 51 seconds. So just be careful. Rewatch it if you need to. Be careful about borrowing from, uh, from seconds to hours. It's a bit tricky, so keep an eye out. Good luck. 